The search for a four-year-old girl is suspended for the night. While it's unknown how long she's been missing, Tuesday a Sorrell postal worker found her five-year-old sister wandering alone. There are a lot of questions. The biggest one, where is Athena Brownfield? News Night Sylvia Corkill is live in Sorrell in Caddo County with the latest. Sylvia. Carl, Amanda, I spoke with Athena's paternal grandmother today. She tells me she and her son had not spoken with or seen the girls for about a year and a half, ever since their mother took off with them. She says it wasn't until recently that they learned the children had been left with a distant relative. She abandoned her kids. She knew where I was. She knew where he was. The dad, which is my eldest son. A distraught father, grandmother, and town rocked by little Athena Brownfield's disappearance. All of a sudden, boom, he, he's not sleeping well. I'm not sleeping well. Everything's jumbled into one big old ball. Maybe we just, we just know that that's innocence and it just hits a little bit harder. Crime tape surrounding the home where Athena was last seen. Thousands coming together, hoping to bring her home safe. Heartbroken. Just want her home. For nearly 48 hours, searchers have pulled out all the stops. Every square mile methodically searched. No clue too small. We've been in the air with helicopter with infrared. Uh, we've been on the ground. Obviously, you've seen around town. Uh, there are a lot of uh, grid searches on foot going around and, and on four wheelers. We are finding things that we hope might give us clues as to where she is. We're still actively looking for her. With the search for Athena suspended temporarily for the night, her family and volunteers turning to God. I pray that she's okay. These children have a lot of adults that have never met them, that are pulling for them and hoping for the best for them and praying for them. And they are loved. Now, troopers tell me every square inch of this town has been searched to include bodies of water, vacant buildings, and outbuildings. As for Athena's sister, we're told while she was found yesterday extremely frightened, she was not injured. Live and surreal, Sylvia Corkill, Oklahoma Zone, News 9.